everyone, welcome to Greg's TV. Recently, we posted on Facebook what is bad for marriage. Some said financial problems, some said nagging from wives, some even said being dishonest and being not loyal is bad for marriage. Top the list, you'll be surprised, mother-in-laws. They said mother-in-laws were monsters. Well, today we are here at Hannah Yu's office and let's see what does she have to say what is bad for marriage. Come. So Hannah, tell me, what do you believe in marriage or do you believe in marriage? I believe in marriage. I've actually been married for more than two years now. Wow, two years. And how does it feel, the two years? Um, not easy. Uh, definitely to get coupled with my political work and lack of time at home. Uh, uh, we are making a commitment uh, to, to make marriage as enjoyable as possible and making time for, for each other is, is, is hard work trying to make that happen. Yeah. Alright, so tell me, what is good for marriage? What is good for marriage? Uh, honesty. Honesty and uh, I think honesty is the most important thing. To be able to talk to each other about ev everything. Uh, and, and not to hide anything uh, from one another. I think that's important because if you lack honesty, uh, once that trust is absent, uh, it's very hard to to make marriage work uh, uh, in the absence of honesty. Yeah. Then what is bad for marriage? Um, unresolved conflict is bad. Uh, so, uh, my husband and I, we have a simple policy. Uh, we follow the Bible very strictly. The Bible says, uh, do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. And we try to resolve all our conflicts that very same day before we go to bed. Because if you have accumulated conflicts and if you don't resolve it, then every single quarrel, you will re be raising issues that are of the past uh, and may not be relevant to the current issue but because it has been unresolved uh, and it's accumulated uh, things will just boil up and, and then suddenly it will just explode uh, and that's why I believe some marriages end up with divorce uh, because of simple things like that uh, just simple practical steps to make marriage work and make sure that you resolve every single conflict that very same day Okay, um, recently we did this uh, Facebook thing asking people what is bad for marriage and a lot of Malaysians had to say that um, mother-in-laws are bad for marriage. Do you think so? Mother-in-law is not bad for marriage. Uh, my my mother-in-law is uh, helpful uh, and my mom has been very helpful to my husband as well. Uh, so I think the most important thing, principle again, is to the principle of leave and cleave, you know, you leave your family and then you cleave to your spouse. Uh, and I think in certain circumstances where mother-in-law come, mother, mother, mother's-in-law come into the picture is because of that principle not being followed. So you cleave to your mother instead of cleaving to your, to your spouse. And, and when that priority is not in place, uh, one person will feel the other person is more important. Uh, so again, it's the right balance uh, and and I definitely think that uh, leaving away from your in-laws just husband and wife uh, and, and your children that is definitely an added advantage uh, because uh, you don't do not have um, other issues uh, coming into your marriage you know between husband and wife already you have, have issues that you have to work on imagine if you have in-laws who also live together and and other issues add on to the uh, issues between the couple yeah. if you know what I mean I'm guessing uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> family family principle is very family important yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is to new wedding wedded couples uh, people who are already married anything for them yes um, never never utter the word divorce uh, whenever you quarrel because the sanctity of marriage is very important and if at every single quarrel we threaten and use the word divorce. You know, if you don't change, I will divorce you. If you don't do this, I will divorce you. Um, that person will feel insecure. Your spouse will feel insecure. Uh, so the commitment to make marriage work must be there. And divorce is not an option. Uh, you cannot even consider it as an option. Because once you consider that, many people want to take the easy way out of marriage. Instead of working at it, or because there's an option now, I will just walk out. Uh, so divorce is not an option. Wow, we 
we've got so much of tips and information from Hannah Yeo and what she had to say what was bad for marriage. And all her conclusion was and her advices was that we should never ever say the word divorce when it comes to problem solving. No to divorce. Now I'm here at the Jabatan Pendaftaran Negara in Putrajaya, some, a place I've never, never been before. And we're going to go to the Marriage and Divorce Division to actually find out more about what is bad for marriage. I'm a bit nervous. I didn't make any appointment to come and see them. I hope they give me a chance to speak to them. Let's see and pray for me that they actually give me a chance. I've got this paper thin soul that crinkles and folds when the wind blows. I take care of myself, maybe everything else so simple like... Today we are here with Miss Baunu, one of the counsellors in the Jabatan uh, Pendaftaran Negara. So tell me Miss Baunu, what is bad for marriage? So... It's whole. Okay. So, um, based on the what uh, my personal experience in the tribunal per Kavinan, we found that uh, we have many reasons actually we list down in the forms. You know? So, normally the couples when they apply uh, for the tribunal, they will uh, take whatever related to their family problem. So, through our observation, and the statistic also shows that uh, the highest rate is a financial financial problem is uh, instability in the family due to the financial and uh, maybe for example the husband is jobless uh, the uh, maybe the wife is a housewife so children's two or three children's to insufficient of the financial things la. so this is the problem so it started from there, that's the root cause. They start to argue about the money and everything. They force the husband to uh, go and uh, get the money. So the husband will start to borrow, then, they start, then it's linked to debts, along and all that. Then the problem arises. The husband start to never come back home because want to avoid the wife is uh, nagging and all that. So this is where the problem started. So when we sit in the tribunal, listen to their problem, we will actually go around six months the, the counselling for each couple. So when we analyse, the root cause will be financial. That's the top. La. Then uh, besides that, we have like a third party involvement, like a mother-in-law or having another uh, affair with another lady or man in, in working place and all that. So they feel like they are already committed with that person. So they have start to have a family problem there. So other than that, um, we have like um, a different religion, like maybe you know, during the love period, they don't mind, you know, I'm a Christian, you're a Buddhist, I'm a, uh, uh, the mixed marriage la, normally. So after they got married, they have a children, uh, then they have the argument. Uh, you want to ch send to church or you want to go to temple? So this is another problem for mixed marriage. So um, I don't know why during the love period they can be very open-minded, but once they get got married, they like very difficult. Then the involvement of the family, like the grandmother, grandfather and all that, you know, because they want the grandchildren to follow Christian and these grandparents will ask them to go to temple. So they have the problem there. So the husband will came to tribunal and he said, oh, she's listening too much to the mother. So involvement of that. This one all we consider as a third party involvement. Actually, they love each other. The love is still there, but involvement and influence from other people. So other than that, uh, we have also drugs, drug addict and all that, uh, pills and all that, but that comes very minor cases. Um, I think the root cause will be the finance. That's top. That's top. 